this morning. It was just getting late, and I came in the woods, and I saw four or five of them right off the bat, but I couldn't get close to them. About 20 minutes ago, I was getting hungry, and I was getting tired. And... What's the matter? Honey, you've seen all kinds of dead deer before. Honey. Honey. I'm sorry. Now, calm down. Have you got a bad migraine? Oh. Calm down now. That's all right. That's all right. Let's go have some coffee. What do you say, huh? Okay. 
What time do the kids go? In a couple of hours. Don't move. Don't move. Be quiet. I've got great news. I'm going to tell them that I'm going to marry their mother. Oh, no, no, no. I've told you so many times, I don't want to get married again. No, I won't. Kathy, but listen. Listen, don't talk to me about it anymore. Gary, wait a minute. Gary, listen. We can go on like this, can't we? We're okay, where we are. Aren't we? Okay. Okay. Two look great. It's good Thanks, to see you again. Thanks, dear. Where'd you get him? I got him up in the pine. The same place you got that buck two years ago, remember? Oh, yeah. One? That was Where's a good one. Yeah. Nice one. All right. Here's <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. Come on. This is a uh, good friend of mine, Sarah. This is Gary. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, my hands are still bloody. Don't be afraid. Uh, and call me Gary, please. It's food. It's food. Where's Mom? She's painting. Oh, she's in the house. She's not anymore. Mom! My baby! I'd like you to meet Sarah, Mom. Sarah, you're welcome here. Six two nine two. Yeah, yeah. That one, that one, not that one. Pretty bizarre. She uh, she uh, she spends hours in that room like she's almost hypnotized. But, uh, it's pretty nice. They look good in here at least. Oh. Okay. Uh, here, don't worry about that. Yeah. These are just some old traditional decorations of my mom. Well, tradition's very nice sometimes. Sometimes. How about some music, you two? Yeah, sure. Definitely. One thing I miss is hunting. Yeah, at school, you never get a chance to do any hunting. This one's for me, this one's for me, this one's for me. <laughs> this one's for Sarah. For Sarah? Yeah. Gary, how'd you know that Sarah was coming? I didn't know. I knew it. Mama, how'd you even know Sarah was coming? A mother knows everything. Do you like some coffee, Sarah? Yes, please. Well, here we are. This is your little nest. You like it? It's an old guest room. Nobody stayed here for quite some time, though. Still some old stuff from old friend of mine. 
some psychoanalyst or something like that. Meditation, he called it. One day he just packed up and left. Just a few lines on a piece of paper and that was it. But that was the last we ever heard of him. I didn't know him that well. He was a little strange. Where is she now? Where's who? Your mom. My mom? Yeah. You said she was cool. Well, Come she on, is cool. Kid. You want to give me a little hand here? She is cool, you know, but... I mean, Dolly's so doggone stupid. I mean, she... She comes home and... Tells Ma she's quitting school as soon as we doggone arrive. I mean, what kind of timing is that? Right before Christmas. I don't know. I, I just felt really <laughs> weird around your mom. Did you see the way she looked at me? I was real scared. Oh, don't let that bother you. You know, she just likes to impress my friends and everything. I don't know. Don't be scared of my mom. Well, How do you really feel, huh? I don't know. I just feel kind of weird. I... What do you mean? <laughs> well, I feel like she... She knows everything that goes on inside of my head, and, and she reads everything in my mind. She scrutinizes me. Scrutinizes you? I'm sorry. It's stupid. I must be tired. She's in the room right now, in the room with us. Oh, come on, Sarah. She's downstairs in her studio, Pam. I just feel it, Ted. Oh, I don't. Where you come up with this? It's like she's in the room right now with us. Come on, Sarah. She's painting. What are you talking about? I can't. Come on, that's all right. She's downstairs. She's not going up here. Red Baron to Lone Painter. You got the Red Baron here, Lone Painter. Do you read me? Mosquito killer, huh? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, we might have time. I don't know. Okay. Hey, you want to help? All right. Okay, run this in fast before he gets here, okay? I'm anxious to go hunting. Think we can go hunting tonight? Sure, we can go hunting. Good. You That's think you can hit anything? Yeah, I'm on the archery team. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing. Nah, don't worry about it. 
Doesn't matter. I decided to go up and see the captain first. So when I approached the bridge, I asked him, you know what he said? Sign the law. How'd you know that? <laughs> I've heard it before. Yeah, me too. Last Christmas. Oh, yeah. Okay, now look. No more talk. No more big mouth. We hunt, and we hunt quiet. You bet. Thank <laughs> you. 
He shot in the opposite direction. He was about 200 yards from us. I don't even know what the hell he was doing there. You've never seen this guy before, have you, Gary? Nope, never saw him before. You sure he's not that poacher? No, no, not that guy, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive, John. I told you, look, uh, we were 200 yards from him. We shot twice, that's all. Two rifle shots and in the opposite direction. So I have no idea what happened. Did you hear a search shot? No, nope, didn't hear anything. Wait a minute. Are you sure you've never seen this face before? Never saw him before in my life. Doc, how's it? How's the girl? She'll be fine. I gave her my specialty. Three aspirin and a shot of brandy. Well, we're gonna list this as a hunting accident. We'll be going and we'll be bothering you more than that, Gary. Okay, John. Thank you much for coming out. You bet. Good night. Good night. Oh, by the way, Gary, Merry Christmas to all of you. Tuned up, and I was wondering if. Uh, Have you seen Gary? Gary? Oh, yeah, he went over to uh, Frank's to bring him some medicine. But. I got How my was he when you saw him? Um. 
I don't know. I didn't see him. Pete was with him, and Pete didn't seem to say anything about it. But he was he angry? I don't know. Pete didn't say he was or anything. I'm sure Pete would have said something if he was real angry or something. But do you think of... I'd like to get my front fender fixed. I don't know how to get along with Gary anymore. I don't think I can live with Gary anymore. I love Gary, but I love my work. I really don't know what to do. semester, I've known her for about five months. Come on. I want you to be careful. Oh, Mom, I'm going to be careful, you know. I'm not going to have any well, there's kids something. Right no, now. I don't mean that. There's something very strange about Sarah. Mm. It's really weird, Ted. I feel I've seen her before. And I don't know why. I don't understand it. Well, it's probably like deja vu or something, you know? No. I, I, I experience that sometimes when I see somebody and I think I've seen them before. You know me, Ted. It's more than deja vu. I've seen her before. I know her. Dolly, what you said to Ma about quitting school was pretty bad timing, you know? Right right at Christmas time and everything. Could have been a little more tactful and uh, at least waited till after the holiday. Hey, break, Ted. Now, what makes you so perfect?
job real quick. Where's Sarah? Well, There's no trunk in this room. There is one. I, I picked it up and, and well, I opened it and there was a sword and a helmet and a mask. Ma, you don't know if there's any kind of trunk or sword in the house? No. It was there. I, I opened it up and there was a, a weird outfit like a, a helmet and mask and a sword and well, I cut my foot. So you're probably having a nightmare and you just fell out of bed. It's all right. Yeah. I guess so. But it was so real. I, I heard you guys playing downstairs. And, like it was happening right now. Well, sometimes dreams can seem that real. But you were just dreaming. You had a nightmare. I guess so. Come on, let me get you up in the bed. No, no, I, I'm all right. I, I don't want to be alone. Let, let me stay with you. and you're very full of visions. But I'm not, Kathy. I'm just a simple man. I need some attention, and I need some affection. All right, you don't want to marry me? That's fine. That's fine! But don't you treat me like some kind of a damn dog waiting for a bone, okay? Gary, don't talk like that. You don't understand. Understand? What am I supposed to understand, anyway? For the last four or five months, I've done everything I can for you. Everything I can. But it's your paints, and your brushes, and your damn visions. Well, I'm fed up with it. That's right, even the good old boys get fed up. If you got the message, sweetheart, have a nice night, okay? Fifteen hundred bucks, young lady. 
Mom, where's Uncle Pete? I don't know. I think he went into town. Must have been a couple of hours ago. So don't worry about him. He's okay. I know him really well. He's all right. And yet, you should be taking Aunt Nettleton and not planning to go hunting tomorrow. I don't care. Looks like it's going to be a crappy day tomorrow anyway. Crappy day or not? I don't want to be left running this farm alone when you're, hit by, when you're shot by one of those maniacs. It was an accident. Gary told you so. That kind of thing happens all the time. Where's the dog? Dog is out drinking his water. Give me a cup of tea. Anything else? 
So that'll be all. And call the dog. Chooky, Chooky, come in here. Chooky, come on. dog doing on the bed again? So sick of seeing it. Take this tea and drink it and go to sleep. You were talking to yourself again. I heard you in the kitchen there. I don't talk to myself. <laughs> Where's my orange juice? You forgot my orange juice. Heck, that I didn't forget you anything. I'm just sick Get of my orange juice. around all the time. Close that door, Chris. It's kind of cold in here.
to me. I can't. What's the matter? There's nothing over there.
are you? What do you want here? lying on the porch dead. You gotta tell us what's going on here, Mama. We're all gonna die if you don't tell us what's happening here. Kathy, you have to tell us. These people would be dead. Kathy, we could be dead. Ted, I'm a mother. I love you and Dolly. I love you and Dolly more than anything in this world. I know, Mama. You know I wouldn't do something like this. Ted, you know. He wouldn't take me away from you, and he would never take you and Dolly away from me. What? You don't, Mama, you don't mean, Mama, Mama, you don't mean, Mama, you don't mean, I just can't believe what happened.
music makes me want to pee. Take the horse. you could come in here. And I know what you're here for. No, Mom, not this time. You made a mistake. No, no, stop it, stop it. Don't come into my mind. Don't try and come into my mind. Stop it. Stop it, I'm your daughter. Val, you...
We've got it! We've stopped the maniac! Kathy! Open the door! Kathy! Kathy, look! Look, we've stopped it! Burn it! Burn it! Get it out of here! Burn it quickly! Kathy, what's the matter? Kathy! Kathy! It's evil! Gary? Mom is right! Burn it! It's evil! I, I can't burn it. It's too important. I have to take it to the police first. Gary? Bring me some candy bars. Yeah.
Thank you. 